Where were those sleeves that they put across? Oh, th those are here. Yep. Please rise. Oh, we need roll call. Here. Here. <laughs> You two make it so easy. <laughs> All right. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I would move to approve the agenda as presented. Support. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Any public, public comment? comment? No, Bruce doesn't want to talk. Okay. It's Bruce's birthday today. Oh, really? Yeah. How old 80, is he? 84. Yeah, I'm checking. Okay, so then that brings us to the action items. Uh, I would move to approve the January 31st Building and Grounds Committee meeting minutes. Okay. Support. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I was opposed. Motion passes 2 uh, 0. Do we have February 28th? No, it's just. Okay. Okay. Um, so we'll skip that. I one. would move to uh, the February 28th meeting minutes till the next board meeting. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll do that. Yeah. All in favor, aye. <laughs> okay. So then we'll uh, review the request procedure memo. Yeah, I just. Uh, if you had a chance to look at this, any changes before we take it to the board? I mean, I think you reviewed it last week. Yeah, we did. We got it. I think it's the procedure it's, we're it's following. The same, yeah, yeah, and that's what we're doing. I just outlined yeah. it. Right. And I put in there the comments from Matt Norfolk, the attorney. Yeah. So, so I move that we move that forward to the board with support from this board. It's on the agenda. Okay. Well, good. And then it's taken care of. Yeah, there's no changes on it. I just want to make sure that you have a chance to review it. So then we're to review of the, uh, the government center campus landscaping plan. Now, Laurel had said she was going to have the um, tree list that MSU was recommending. Uh, well, I don't know if she has, she has passed this off. I'm not sure exactly not here at the last meeting obviously but there's that and then yeah uh, she she did send um a list right well i mean but it was did, a very short list yeah but she did say she would have them on paper at our meeting so i didn't oh. print it out yeah this, I mean, that's this, it this right must there. be it. yeah that's what she told me mm -hmm. i believe her and she always follows through <laughs> Yeah, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't really read this. And stuff, then we did get a, <laughs> we did get oh, and this and see, and this is the the print that she sent us too oh. of the gardens. Right. You know. Well, I so, think we've determined that we really don't have space in the garden. Right. And I'm going to throw a monkey wrench out here today. Um. I've been thinking about this and. I'm wondering if it would not better serve the community to have the tree planted at Old Settlers Park for a couple reasons. Um, one, we've lost trees there, and I don't know, you know, what the big picture is for the park if they were planning on replacing those trees, and two, I anticipate in the future that events may be held around the tree to celebrate, um, what, is it the 19th Amendment? I think it is. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, when we talk about putting the tree along the roadway as a canopy, we talked a little bit about in the event there was an event and you know, up on the campus, added traffic around the sheriff's department. Our parking lot a lot of times is full. It just competes with parking. And down here, and I think you were going to talk to the veterans. I know. You know, um, we'll hear about that today. But I just thought, 
more people would be able, I, I don't see a lot of people coming here looking at the tree and the plaque. It would have more visibility in our park. So I'm throwing that out there um, as an option. Well, back to your first comment. And help you out, Jerry. I think we walked with 58 trees. Does that sound about right? Right. And, and actually, it actually was a blessing. I think most people agree that because it looked awful at first, but once we cleaned it out, got rid of all the stumps, which we did several years ago, right. it really has kind of opened it up a little more. And it looks quite natural and pretty good the way it is. So I don't think there's any talk about adding trees to the part, not to replace those that were taken out. Right, yeah. but I'm saying we did but lose. Say, oh yeah, 50, we, I'm not sure it's 58 trees. Right, we lost a lot of trees there and yeah. to put uh, a tree such a, you know, for the purpose of, um, you know, for their purposes that it might uh, be seen by more of the general public than it would be seen here. And if there were to be events or a picnic or something where they would want to celebrate that day, they would have the picnic tables, they'd have a view, it's a beautiful location, you know, so that's kind of what I was thinking. Mike, I know what you're saying, what happened before uh, we had the storm, uh, we were always having trouble trying to grow any type of grass because it's very sandy there. Um, and because of the canopy, because of the age of the trees, and like Jeff was saying, you know, it's opened things up where we're now able to grow grass and have a better ground level um, situation uh, instead of just sand and moss, you know, in a place where it didn't grow. Because sunlight could not get in there because of the huge trees, the age of them, and the canopy. So if we start putting more in, they would probably be fighting for light. Well, the short it, trees, and yeah. uh, then of course, then you shield the ground again. Then you, you're going back to uh, less grass. Okay, and and that's what happens with that. And it's tough enough to mulch now or whatever he does, but the more trees, it can uh, cause more issues. Well, and that's a great point. However, we're looking. Um, at a tree that would be very small and would take years to get to 40 or 60 feet. And during those years, we're gonna have other tree loss because of the age of the existing trees that are there. So. It, well, the tree also could be planted in a spot where it's not impacted the mowing too. Right. I assume that's irrigate. what you were you got to irrigate thinking the trees. too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Irrigation is not prevalent out there, just we have uh, hydrants, but there's not irrigation to the trees. Well, one thing we talked about, that would be the league's responsibility to maintain the tree, water it, and so forth. Well, I, I'm just putting it out there for a thought, because I was thinking, um, you know, if there are event plans, then that would be a little bit more conducive to the celebration of that day as opposed to um, adding more to here. Adding more here. Yeah. So I, I'm putting it out there. There are a few plaques at the park. I've been, we did approve the bench for County right. Bench Field. There's a couple other plaques. I don't remember what they, it one's was, from uh, the 50s and 60s. Correct. There was something the, out there, but yeah. Because I think there's a, well, maybe three or four plaques out there now from different mm -hmm. events. But that isn't really their request. If it no, it's at the government yeah. center, yeah. Yeah. you know. But that could be an option. I mean, right. it's your choice. Right. Yeah. Well, if we refuse a tree on our campus, we could use that as an alternative. Right. You know, and um, that was just my thought. So, so as, as far as, uh, so we're looking at the review of the government center campus landscaping plan. And so, I mean, Basically, when we look at that, we, we know that this, the front garden, the front of the building is not the place that we want to add a tree. Mm -hmm. they, they, they have more than enough trees already there. So what we're looking, looking at is someplace outside, whether it's on the, the northeast side or the 
along the roadway, you know, th those are the places that, if we're going to put it on the campus, you know, or the memorial, uh, the, the places that we've, we've probably designated where it could go. Yeah, you know, and now really we can add to that uh, Old Settlers Park. I looked at the campus coming up, um, and we do have quite a few trees, hilly through here, not a great place along here, I don't think. The only place I would consider would be, like we talked last week, in this area here. Um, I don't even know if you have room here. This is... What this is, is that, that small parking lot. Is, is right, but what are these small. lines, Jer? Are the these lines. lines here? Are those sleeves? Yeah, are those the no, sleeves? Well, yes, the okay. irrigation that comes down from those trees is just a line that was dropped to okay. irrigate those two trees on each side of that so entrance. So really, to put a tree in that area would interfere with that, more or less, unless it got moved back. Right, because you got the power line and then you've got the irrigation. Right. So I think it's well, been so, so we Yeah, so we've, we've narrowed, at least when we look at the landscaping plan of where it would go on the campus, and, I, and I'm saying, so we've got three, basically three, maybe four, if you count the east side of the building, which we're probably not going to do, yeah, you know. So, so, and then if you add the uh, old settlers, that'd be four different locations. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So we're looking at the reviewing it. And so we've, we've, one here, where's the other three on this? Well, I, I, you know, when I talked to the, the veterans, it was anywhere around here. Okay. You know, they, you know, then we, then, then across here. Somewhere. Then, yeah. And then uh, following the canopy line. You know, those are the three that I'm thinking of. Uh, was there any other place here that, you know, do we want to really consider this side of the road? Well, it would have to be back, you know, like if it was on this driveway, it would be back. See, there is one something there, but okay. it would have to be back into here. So That's it, like he's got it. See how he has it back from the, the power line. Right. But my question is, are we looking from here to here? I don't yeah. really. Yeah. Or here to here. I'm just saying either way aside. And I don't think it's a great idea. Well, you're probably right. You know, to put so a tree on that side. That where you're pointing, where your left finger is, that's all, all maple yeah. trees yeah. down here, and right. they're going to continue to grow. And we may so have to look at that as. So I would eliminate that space. Okay. Now, if you want to go from the pond over and put another tree somewhere, I guess we could. Or. So would if you call you, that the north side of the of the road? Yes. The northeast yes. side. Northeast. Yeah. So we'd eliminate that. So it would have to be on the southeast side. Right. I would keep it to this side. And what's the yellow gas line? Okay. So we yes. have to just stay away from the gas line. Well, I don't know. You've got a lot of trees that are planted right on or along. Right. So, but you know. But it's usually down there, you know. But I'm just saying, we we would want to if we do it now. Right, away from the gas lines. Yes. So, as far as the campus, that's my opinion. There's three okay. or four trees up here on this hill, up here in the field. Just okay. Top so it could go up there. Could come out because they're not doing very well. I'm okay. guessing the League of Women want to be in a very visible spot. But right, I that's what I'm thinking. Be, they don't want to be up there. I don't think oh, they're going to. So, yeah, that's yeah, why, that's why, I why we eliminated this yeah. originally because it can't get to it. And it's like I say, I yeah. really believe in my mind that there's going to be events around right. the tree. So um, it's got to be an area where they can park and, you know, have their event. So that's why I kind of lean towards mm -hmm. this area originally up okay. along here. They're going to be walking up and down this road yeah. to get to this, I think is, you know, not a right. great idea. Well, if you want to approve it, I would say, I would agree with that. This is probably the best location. Mm -hmm. It doesn't interfere with the rest of the campus. Right. It can be planted in a spot that right. would not interfere with the Okay, so, so we're, I'm just saying we're looking at three and we're reviewing where we could put it. So, so we've narrowed it down really to 
here, here, or here. No, and I don't we're think that's emphasizing, a good idea. Not in the front? No, because no. they wouldn't be able to go to it? Or here. Okay, so we're really only talking here or down here. So there's two the places. Two options. Two options. Can I interject? Sure. Or the park. If you put a tree out in the yard, also you have to adjust your irrigation because otherwise you have to possibly when the sprinkler hits the tree, you have that spot on the other side. Yeah. So we'd have to figure that one out too. Right. Or Nate or well, if they want a tree in a different area where we don't have irrigation, then we can propose the idea that they can add to the irrigation or they can water for the well, first we, we year. We figure the cost in of the right. adding the irrigation. They'd be responsible for whatever it costs to do that. So, okay, so so we'll move on then to four. Well, you know, we've got it down to really two spots, maybe. And one is the priority, I would say. And yeah. I would also give them the option of the park. Right. In, because right. that might be better suited. Yeah. Right. As know, an option, yeah. As an so option. that's the three then. We're down to three with the with adding old settlers. Right. You know. All right, so now we'll talk about the now we can talk about the plaque now, the request. Let's look at these plaques because I want to be clear. These plaques out here, what's on the tubes? I suppose I should have went and looked at it. Are those plaques? Those yeah. identify yes. the type of plants in that area. Okay. Yes. So is that the type of plaque that, that we're you're talking about? Yes. I'm assuming if you look at the Gallagher tree, that has that type of Okay. Well, no, the, no, the Gallagher tree has a grass. Oh, I know, but it's bigger. It's that type. Well, it's, it's like yeah. this, but these Much are bigger. plastic. Or yeah, those, those are just identified type of plants. I right. assume they'd want some bigger that they would have. What to size use. is the one on Gallagher's? We could walk out. Uh, like I'm guessing 8 by 12, Jerry. I don't think that big. Uh, I'd have to. Go measure it, Jerry, so we know. Measure both. Please, while well, you're out yeah, there. Six by eight. Because it'd be hard to say make one smaller than that. Yeah, to get any kind of wording yeah. on it. Right. So veterans complete right. the canopy. And old settlers. And old settlers. Now, when you talk about veterans. Either side of the road? Is yeah, that... it could be either side. Okay. Because there's the parking, it's all set up. You right. Know. So, uh, what did the veterans say? Okay, so, uh, well, I, I talked to Greg Mikowski, Jeff LaCrosse, Kelly LaCrosse, um, Ken Pomondon, all veterans, all involved with the VFW and on the board there and that. I, I called Dave McCullough, but I never did get a call back from him. So, but I, after talking to four of them, I thought I had the idea. The, the there they said it's fine. You know, the only they said anywhere there. They said it's a memorial and and it can celebrate anything. It doesn't have to just be the veterans, and they don't see that as a problem. They're going to talk to other veterans, you know, and. But they said every one of them said they don't see a problem with it. You know, one one said that he doesn't understand why we have to give everybody so much recognition. We're all Americans. We're all voters. We're all this. Why do we have to start separating out one from the other to give recognition? You know, he said, uh, you know, we we did the, the indigenous people. Are we going to do a plaque for them? And you know if they ask so it just we have to he said you, you know you'll have, you'll become that will become a memorial over there and that was just but all the rest said fine just go ahead Let that's it. why i like the idea of having it at the park because at the park you can open it up to more people you know and for those people who want to celebrate their day or their event then I just think a park setting is um, a better place. So. Well, in order to keep focus at Tuesday's meeting, you should make a recommendation. Do you want the tree? And if so, yes. If you don't want a tree, make that recommendation. Yeah. If not, you're going to be opening up a whole. Right. You're going to spend yeah, hours. That, that's another thing. Yeah. You know, how much time do we want to spend on well, this? Well, your job as a committee is to make a recommendation to the board. Right. 
And, well, and I, and I thought we would have one place so we could recommend all three. These are the well, locations. Well, you have three, okay, you that part. Yeah. But then with, so for requests, we have, you identify three spots. Yeah. Now you have a specific, well, you have two specific requests actually coming out. Well, one is the, VF, the lead. Do you want to say yes? If you say no, then obviously you point. Right. If you say yes, then you should identify a specific spot. Because you don't want to open up the whole debate. I mean, you have spent a lot of time on this. Right, right. I think the board's expecting you to come up with a recommendation. Right. And I, and and I, I don't know. I feel like the, that, that we need to recommend for it. Otherwise, I think it just creates too much of a controversy. And, and well, where? on the other side of that argument is um, maybe we should have a policy pertaining to the campus and then look at these requests for our parks. Campus is closed because we can junk up the campus with a lot of different things. So maybe we should close the campus as far as tree donations or any other kind of donations, close the campus, but open up our parks. And because then the parks and rec, we can develop a policy, because I looked at their policies and I well, think it's pretty scary. That was never approved. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was going right. to well, I saw that. There's no way we're doing Right. Well, in our, our policy is going to be should not be, a policy. It should be this. Right. This should That's be. what we're talking any, about. That is our policy. For any property, including parks. Right. Right. But what I'm saying, if we close this campus. To say no to anyone. To say no to everything, because then we don't have to deal with pinwheels and I don't know, whatever else they come up with. Close a campus to that. And any request that comes in would then go to Parks and Rec. Park and Rec would then take care of where do we want the tree? Do we want the tree? Do we want a bench? Do we want a plaque? Then that recommendation will come to the board and then we as the board can decide how much stuff we want in our parks. I would prefer to see that ultimately. Close the campus. Oh, we got a lot going on here. We don't know what our expansion is going to look like with, you know, over time. The, okay. So that would be my first recommendation. Close the campus and... Um, All right, I'll second that. Okay. All right. So what you're saying is that any request coming from this campus, whether it's League of Women Voters or Pinwheels or anything, we would say by board motion it's closed. However, it can be considered at the parks. Right. Basically, you're saying. Right. Because then we don't have to deal with all. We've got a lot to deal with here, and we've got. Well, we, but I think we, if you still go with that, let's say that goes, you go to the parks. I think you still want to control, not the parks and recs. Right. You still use that Correct. policy. Correct. Yeah. Yes, it goes to them. We they set the policies. They can recommend. That goes back to this committee, right. and then you recommend to the full board. Right. That way. You want to have control. You don't. Yeah. Have right. That way, it takes. I mean, we've had three meetings. Yeah. Okay. Um, we don't know enough about parks. At least I don't know enough about parks to be able to make a decision. So, it can go to a review okay. board at the park. Yeah, so uh, we get a request. Let's say we get this legal woman vote request. Comes to me. I have the park because they have a committee for each of the park. Mm -hmm. They can review it, make a recommendation. Then goes back to the building grounds com committee here for you to decide. Mm -hmm. And then you can either agree with the recommendation or disagree and take it to the board. So you still would be following. Simple process. Right. Simple process. So it gives you, as a board committee, uh, you have three parks or four parks, really. Right. 4-H Old Settlers, uh, Miles, and Veronica. And if you want the trees along the path to keep it passive, which it is, I mean, there's, it gives you a lot more option, too, right. without worrying about underground stuff. Exactly. So then it takes and then I, I agree with you. Because yeah, I think this is a struggle. Sure, yeah, we should make sure that the commissioners see this. Yeah, I'll oh. have it on the screen. Okay, good. We'll get it. All right. So you can walk. It's hard to 
in a pack, it's going to be too small. Right, right. I think we're on the screen, blow it up, and you can walk through just like we did this morning. Yeah. This isn't everything that's underground. I mean, sewer lines. Well, and the and other thing, too, is if you yeah, think well, about this. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah. If you think about this. They may want to expand down there, too. Veterans in that yard. Who knows? Someday. You get, oh, you're about, yeah. you get 10 things out here, uh, 10 new trees, or six or seven new benches. You know, now it's a problem. Yeah. When I was at MC, it got to a point where the board actually passed the policy, pretty much the same thing. The concern was it started to look like a graveyard because all these plaques were right. honoring different people that passed away. And you say no to one, how does that, right. well, how can you with this family have a plaque or a tree? So they actually kind of went through the same thing and came up with the same policy that no more. Yeah. And I, I I think if we begin this process, especially here, that um, you know, it's just it's going to be a mess down the road. Parks, to me, is a place where you want to put that stuff. We put the bench in, you put a tree in. It's like I said, they if they want to well, have an event, they can have an event. I'm sorry, but I think we should close the campus to all of it. You actually are following past practices because, at least since I'm here. Nothing's been allowed to be coming on this campus. The only thing you allowed was that bench at the park right. for County Right. I don't remember any other no. button getting requests. So you basically are following through on your past practices. Mm -hmm. You're confirming a past practice by doing this. Right. So, so we so, have the motion. Yes. And I second it. So we have to vote on it. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The motion passes. Two. Zero. Now, do we need to discuss the plaque? We should have a policy of some sort on the size of plaques that will be allowed. Well, I think they need to go through us again. Right. Go through the same process. If, if it's going to happen and if it goes through the park and they say it's they, they want it to have it there, is that, I think then we could refer this to the, the park. Yeah, but let and where they want to put it. do the exact same process. Yeah. Okay. So really, this committee and the board has a final authority. Right. If I'm thinking, so legal work, let's just use an example. If they want to request, they have to have specific, and it talks about this, they need specific things. So they need to tell us they want a plaque that's this size. And, and, and what it says. And the size and the wording. And yeah. the wording. Jerry, did you measure? Five by eight for the uh, bronze, whatever. Okay. So it's five by eight, Gallagher tree. And five by seven for the plastic ones. And these, I believe you can pull out yeah. and change. That's why they're plastic, so they can change different flowers, different oh, things, yeah. whereas a plaque would be whatever. Permanent. 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 Right. Yeah. Well, that decision actually was made by when the that tree was moved from the courthouse. So right. really, since this building has been built, there's been nothing. Right. Well, other than the Joe Deegan tree that nobody even no knew. About somebody just went, right. Jerry yeah. just went and hit it there. Uh, <laughs> it showed up one day. Darn Jerry. Did you push the there? Right out my window. And the... Uh, it's a dwarf one. Okay, so we've made a decision on four of the five items. Yes. So uh, we, we've already decided, I thought, on the pin. Yeah, I thought, I just want to confirm that because I yeah. wasn't here. But okay. actually, if you pass your recommendation on that, nothing here, that takes care of that also. Exactly. Right. So that's all. I, I told that the committee recommended against it. It's job. So. So and the other thing, too, as far as the planting, the type of tree, Parks and Rec can tell us what right. kind of tree they want. Right. You know? I assume by the time you get to this committee, you have all the details. Exactly. So it should be a specific request. If they want a plaque, what size and what the legs of the plaque, all that. So by the time you get it, you have all that. So you right. don't have to debate all this. So right. Yeah. So it's now you got that list of native trees too. Right. Say. And yeah. we can give that to the park and right. rec as well. Right. If they want to consider it. Yeah. You know? If they want to consider it. Scott, you can make copies of your and I mean I, I and, and the board can say yes, we want to put it at the at the park and then they'd have to decide which one well, and where. I think by the two of you make a recommendation they'll make discussion of the mm -hmm. right. And then um, then Laurel had sent me three different um, forms about if we had forms for people to fill out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say we not have forms. Let them put down specifically what they want case by case. Well well that's but but, and that's what I just wanted it so that they would know, yeah. you know, there's a cost involved, but, there's a, you know. 
by almost having a forum, we're almost encouraging them to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, really, it's their responsibility. Yeah. Let them do all the research, have them come up with the details and so forth. Okay. So you want to just skip that? I would say what that. Do you think? Yeah. I kind of agree with that. Yeah. If, okay. we have a, if we have a form, we're almost encouraging people to And apply. the form, I noticed had some uh, that Laurel had sent us, mm -hmm. actually had fees attached. Right. You know, how do you, I mean, is that to cover the cost of what? We don't know. Yeah. Uh, I think, I mean, we don't get a lot of these. I think it's better just do it case by case. Okay. I, I agree. Uh, excuse me, the, uh, did you guys decide on specific size of the plaque and that's what it's going to be well, you know someone well that's what we said no it would have to come they whoever wants it has to come up with the okay. with the recommendation to us and, right. and you know it would not larger than any plaque that we have is, is what i it, would it, do it case by case yeah right we'll do it case by case but you know we'll look at what we have and then compare it to what they want and say it's either too big or it's too small yeah i mean a, a plaque on that bench for county vinceville is different than a plaque Sure, John Gallagher. So it may vary what they want. Right, exactly. Because the plaque you can put on the, on, yeah. a, on a seat, you can put it on the back of the right. the chair. Well, so let's say I just mixed up. Someone wants to put a drinking fountain in and pay for it. Right. Well, that may be different than exactly. a tree versus right. a right. Yeah. So I think we just need to be as flexible as possible. Okay. But let the group requesting all that make that decision do, do the detailed the work yeah. so that we don't tie up our time and staff time to deal well, that, with that yeah, and that's but that's I, I mean you're right about the plaque that's why i wanted the form because then all those questions could be presented and then you could say yes or no or it's got to be different you know but well maybe but, maybe we can look at some sort of internal policy as far as building and grounds or and racks or whatever. Yeah, I think just leave it flexible. I think, I think he's right. Let no. that organization do all the work. Have that come up with so that we can say yes or no or modify it. Right. Mm -hmm. Which like actually that. fits right into what's being said here. So we I like it. Same I like yeah. it. It's not like we're overwhelmed with these. No. Right. No. Thank God. But I think we were very thoughtful about this yeah. and consider, consider it. So. Well, just having this upgraded was well worth the time. Yeah. yeah. It really was. Yeah. I mean, that all had to be done, I think. I'm going to get, I'll make copies of this for Scott to give to the park board. So, I mean, you know, yeah. Is that a well, I'll put it on the board agenda so we can get an update on the okay. processes. Right. Anything else, Wes? <laughs> no, public, there are any other comments? Uh, no, no, I think we did really well today. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good comment. Any oh. public comments? No. Uh, right. I had a, go ahead. Uh, Whoever and Al, but Al, uh, all the veterans, all oh. stopped in yesterday, and of course, we're, you know, he's starting to get geared up for Memorial Day. Uh, he talked about parking issues, and I explained to him that we don't have a lot of area where we can expand the parking lot, especially across the street from the veterans, because out in that field, there is underground drainage from this building, you know, in these right. ponds. And he's, I said for a whole hour, People park along the drive, you know. They said they can park in this field. So maybe we could put a sign up or something that, or even a post, and then have a sign put up at that time so people would know that, you know, parking is in that field. They still have to walk. Well, how about I just throw this out? They get a volunteer because for the older people's walking may be yeah. a challenge. We let them use our golf cart that day. Sure. So when people park. They could have someone go back with the golf cart, take them to from the park. I think that's a yeah. good idea. Got two golf carts. We just bought a new cart here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use that one from the park. But he, I told him, I said, well, you know, they can park. They're going to park their like cattle. One parks in, along the road, and you know, maybe bad. Right. But he said, well, maybe you could put a sign up there that says parking out in the field. Yeah. Now, it's not necessarily a bad idea to have a sign that I could attach to a post that stays as also as a uh, plowing stage, you know. Yeah. Uh, and just let it be bare, except Memorial Day. I mean, if we could do that, I could get well, a sign. What, what an option. But we can offer the golf cart, too. Sure. But right. Well, in, in a lot of times, they just put up two, put two stakes in and put yeah. a yellow ribbon, yeah. and then people go and park they to that, that yeah. you know. Right. I mean, or sure. some kind of 
ribbon or rope. It can even be a piece of rope, it doesn't really matter. We're talking about one time a year. Only. Right. For an hour and a half, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But he bought, so I just kind of did yeah. study. Because actually, I, there's a, I think there's enough parking if we put them out in that field, there's plenty. You know, if he's got the golf cart, oh, he'll yeah. go, you know. Well, I come over here, I'll be glad to go out the golf cart and help people. Because you're busy with, well, seriously, you're busy yeah. with the silent. We're always there. They kind of put us to take people up course. and down the hill. That way, we can actually tell them to park on top. We'll we'll take them back and forth. Oh yeah. And that way, you don't you have to worry about that. So one more thing, we're going to go uh, get it worked up to go up the bids for uh, resealing work on the asphalt. Oh. The entire campus. It's four years now, it's easy to be able to do, but right. so you know that's coming up that we're working and we work towards getting. We got a, a spec sheet, we just got to go out for how the homes wants to work out. But anyway, that's in the works. Well, let me know who you get because I have to do the same thing at my shop, so. Okay. It's not cheap. No, it's not my job. No, well, that's funny because yesterday I just talked to Ron Brown, who gave my driveway. Mm -hmm. oh. But I know I had him, he did Jim Nowak's for me, and it was about $3,000 cheaper than the yeah. others. He really? does the patching and yeah. Miles Kimmel did some patching. Yeah. He's pretty reasonable. I mean, not that it's cheap. No, but, but yeah. I mean, he wants to, Elmer's was going to do it an inch and a half. He said he'd do it two and a half. And still, and still was cheaper than that. Yeah. yeah. I was just so busy, they may not even want the small jobs, right. they did them high. Right. Uh, Elmer's did mine years ago. Ron Brown and son. Been around for a long time. Yeah. He's been yeah. for a long time. I have a driveway. My second driveway needs to be done. That's asphalt or concrete? Asphalt. Okay. I didn't even look at concrete. Mm -hmm. We got enough of it in the house already. And so this That's what they talked about one time and never it never even got past parts of the house. Okay, so. because when I read Yeah, I read the when Laura gave that to him, I go, Where well, did this come from? Yeah, no, right. that was and I, my question is why are they making these kinds of policies? It's not their well, place. They it didn't go anywhere. Okay. It didn't go anywhere. That's I think someone just came up with an idea and yeah. yeah. Well they have no authority. Right. Um, right. Are you going to move to adjourn? We are adjourned. Okay. Okay. All right, Jerry. So, so thank I you. Yeah, I was waiting until sure. we had more time. Yeah, I didn't. That's what I was asking. I'm going to leave this right here so I have it for the meeting. Yeah, like I said, I'll have it on the screen. Okay. You're welcome. That's good. Yeah, very good.